Hi there, this is Caitlin and I'm Nikki and we're from Synergy Physio. We're really looking forward to uh, presenting to you just an easy 10 minute beginner yoga routine uh, that you can do for yourself at home. So if you start by uh, simply lying on your back, you can have your hands at a comfortable distance and your feet hip width apart and let's just start with a little gentle knee rocking. So you'll exhale and simply drop the knees to one side. And then with your inhale, let that guide your knees back to the center. And exhale, drop your knees to the other side. And you can continue with this. We'll take three or four gentle knee rocking motions. And as you're doing this, I'd like you to induce the feeling in your body of complete ease. So there's no effort with this gentle spinal twist. Just the sense of complete ease, allowing the breath simply to guide the movement. Let's take one more to each side. Beautiful. And then on your next inhalation, you'll pause at the top and simply hug your right knee up towards your chest. And you can stretch your left leg away and point and flex the left foot. And almost like you're trying to touch the other side of the room to wake up the left leg, maybe some foot circles. Then you'll hug the left knee up toward the chest and stretch the right leg away. And again, try to extend the right leg away from you and simply point and flex the feet like you're trying to wake up the calf muscles. Maybe a few foot circles. Great. Then you'll have your feet on the floor and your hands wide and you can simply roll onto your right side. I'm going to now try just a few book opening stretches. So inhale, take your left hand up and over into a spinal twist, really breathing in, opening up the rib cage and exhale, come back to the center. We'll take three on each side. So as you inhale, try and stretch the uh, shoulder blades together and as you exhale, soften the body. If your neck is uncomfortable, a little pillow under the neck will be fine with this. Beautiful. And then you can simply allow the knees to come back up to the center, roll onto your back and then onto the other side. So starting with the hands together, having a breath into the body as you open up the rib cage, stretching the fingertips apart and exhale and bringing the hands gently back together. Keep your neck comfortable. Allow your belly to expand as you inhale. And as you exhale, try to soften the body. And take one more of these breath opening spinal twists. Beautiful. And then from there, you can simply rock up onto all fours. So coming onto all fours, hands and knees. Make sure the wrists are underneath the shoulders and you'll inhale and lift the tail and the heart and exhale and round the spine. So a cat cow stretch, try to push the floor away as you exhale. And as you inhale, try to open up the heart and lift the tail. We'll create uh, one more of these cat cow stretches. So rounding the spine as you exhale and inhale, opening up the heart space. And then from here, we'll simply go into a thread needle stretch where you'll take the right hand through and take a little spinal twist here and uh, inhale, come back up and we'll swap sides. So we'll take two of these on each side. And as you do this, try to keep the chin tucked under very slightly just to protect the neck. You can round the spine a little with this stretch. Excellent. And from here, you'll simply curl the toes under and then lift the hips high toward the ceiling into a downward facing dog. Now you can keep your knees generously bent for this if you want to for your first downward dog. Otherwise, you can press one heel into the floor and then the other to start waking up the calf muscles. And from there, you can simply walk the feet toward the front of the mat and slowly with your knees generously bent, you can roll yourself up into a standing position, circling the arms wide with an inhale and exhale back down through the heart space. And let's just pause here for a moment. Close the eyes down. Have one breath into the belly and simply pause at the top for a moment. And then exhale all the way down through the feet and pause at the bottom. Then on your next inhale, you can simply circle the arms wide above the head 
and exhale, fold yourself forward. You can bend your knees generously. Inhale and step the right foot back and simply drop the knee to the floor. As you come up into an upright position, clasp the hands together and inhale the elbows high. And then exhale and push all of your air out round the spine. And on the inhale, let your arms rise. And take a gentle little side stretch here. Beautiful. And take the hands to frame the front foot and you'll just simply step back to hands and knees again, all fours. You'll inhale, lift the tail and the heart. And then exhale, curl the toes under and come into a downward facing dog. Let's take a couple of breaths here, pressing one heel into the floor and then the other. Try to keep some space between the neck and shoulders and make sure you're pressing on all four corners of the palm to protect the wrists. And from there, you can simply bend the knees and walk the feet forward to the front of the mat. And as you inhale, circle the arms wide and come back through the center to the heart space. And let's do that once more onto the other side. So you'll inhale, circle the arms wide and exhale and fold yourself forward. And then stepping the left foot back and drop the left knee onto the ground. You can clasp the hands together and inhale the elbows high. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale. And then take a little side stretch here, just opening up the side waist. Good. Inhale, come back to centre. Take the hands to frame the front foot. And you can step that right foot back into all fours. Simply lift the tail and the heart as you inhale, opening up the chest. And then curl the toes under. Exhale into a downward facing dog. So just take just a couple of breaths here. Again, if you want to walk the feet, you can. Otherwise, you can take a still downward dog, whichever you prefer. Beautiful. And then just simply walking now the feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, circle the arms wide above the head. Beautiful. Exhale, come back down through centre. We'll just pause here once more, closing the eyes down. Having a breath into the belly, pausing at the top. And then exhaling down through the feet and pausing at the bottom. Now from here, if you can, simply step the feet wide. And you'll take your left foot to face the short side of the mat and your right foot to point a little inwards. Make sure that your knee is over your second toe and take your hands wide into a warrior pose. Let's inhale and straighten the knee and bring both hands up to touch uh, above your head. And then exhale, bend the knees. Let's do this twice more. Good. Last one. And let's just hold this warrior pose. Try and stay even and grounded through both feet. Plug the shoulders into the sockets. And then from there, you'll simply inhale the left hand high into a reverse warrior. And then exhale, taking the elbow toward the knee and a long line stretch from your pinky finger through to your pinky toe. Try not to lean on the elbow too much to protect the neck. Beautiful. From there, simply coming up again as you inhale, turn both feet to face the long side of the mat and you'll exhale and fold yourself forward. Now, if you can't reach the floor, you can use a block. And we'll just take a few gentle breaths here. So allow the head to hang, maybe rock forward and back on the feet a little. You can take a long exhalation here. And let's take a gentle spinal twist here. You can inhale the left hand high toward the ceiling, opening up through the shoulder and exhale back down and inhale the right hand up toward the ceiling and exhale back down. And from here, gently take yourself back up into standing, circling the arms. Good, and then turn the right foot out and the left foot in and come into a warrior to the other side. So let's take three breaths here. You'll straighten the knee as you inhale and exhale and bend the knee. Let's do that twice more. So just a moving warrior. Try to make sure that right knee's out over the second toe. Great, and then pause here and plug the shoulders into the socket. Stay even on both feet. Stay grounded through your feet. 
And from here, as you inhale, take the right hand high into a reverse warrior. And then exhale, take the elbow to the knee into a long stretch from your pinky toe through to your pinky finger. Try to make those two places separate. Beautiful. And then from there you can simply inhale back up to the centre and turn both feet inward again. We'll take one more little forward fold. Good. You can take the hands in front of you on the floor and bend the knees and simply step into a back into a downward facing dog. We'll walk the feet a little, our last downward facing dog. And from there you can simply walk the hands, sorry, walk the feet to the front of the mat. Circle the arms wide as you inhale. And exhale back down through the heart space. If you can now, simply close the eyes down. Let's take five or six slow breaths where you watch the breath rise from the belly through to the heart, pausing at the top and back down through to the belly. Allowing a little pause between the inhale and the exhale. Two more slow belly breaths, watching it rise from the belly through the heart space to the throat and back down. And if you can now simply pause your awareness and your attention simply to the heart space. Let's take three breaths into the heart space and as you create those three breaths, I'd like you to bring to mind something that you're currently grateful for. It could be a person in your life or a circumstance or something you've experienced. Bring that feeling of gratitude and joy into the heart space as you take three breaths. Allow it to expand as you inhale and feel your body soften over that feeling as you exhale. Great. From there, I'd like you to slowly open the eyes, circle the arms wide and clasp the hands above the head. Take a little side stretch to the left. And then a little side stretch to the right. And we're going to finish this practice with a little rejuvenating uh, breath movement. So as you exhale, you'll bend your knees and just let your arms swing by your side. And we'll do this three times. So inhale all the way up and exhale, come back down. Let's do this three or four times just to help wake up the body because it's a morning practice. Great, wonderful. And there concludes our 10 minute morning yoga routine. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for joining us.